everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel then welcome my name is Athira I am an artist and designer in today's video I wanted to paint on fabric and specifically on denim fabric I have a lot of denims that I'm not wearing at all either they are out of fashion or I don't fit into them anymore or they're just old I wanted to see if I can take some of those pieces and make them completely new and more exciting to wear first I'm going to select which of the denim pieces I'm going to be painting after that I'm going to start painting so if you are interested to see how that goes then continue watching So these are some old denim jeans, denim jackets and shirts that I have. So I'm going to go through them and see what I want to paint on. I was really inclining towards painting a denim jacket but then I thought it's too common and I felt like trying out something different. So I finally decided to paint this boring denim dress and maybe give it a new look. So first I'm going to iron this out because it's very crumpled and then what I'm planning to do is change this into a high waisted skirt. So I will cut it few inches above the waist and attach an elasticated waistband to it. This is a lightweight denim fabric so I'm hoping that it doesn't become too stiff after painting. We'll see how that goes. So I bought a mixing palette which has more depth as fabric paints are more runny and then I bought a set of angular brushes. I bought three bottles of fabric medium. This is very very important while painting on fabric. A few specific colors of fabric paint and some sewing stuff that I needed. So first I start by drawing my design on tracing paper so that I have an idea of the size and the composition. This is kind of like a rough draft. I'm going to try and paint a floral botanical design here. So right now I am sliding in a plastic sheet so that the paint does not seep to the back side while I'm painting. This is very important. Now I'm using a regular carbon paper and transferring the design on the fabric because it's kind of difficult to draw directly on fabric. And once the design is transferred, I'm going to start painting. So with my fabric paint, I'm adding a bit of the fabric medium, which gives a really good consistency to easily paint on fabric. And it's best not to use any water to dilute the paint. So I'm going to paint all the greens first so that I can utilize the paints that I have mixed before they dry up and then get on to the other colors. And trust me, it's so easy to paint and blend the colors here. You can actually use regular acrylic paints also provided you use a fabric medium to mix the paints. I'm not using any water to dilute the paint here. I'm only cleaning my brush with water but otherwise the paint is diluted only with fabric medium.
I'm almost done with the green section and finally I'm going to start using some color. So by now you all would have figured that I love painting greens and flowers and basically nature is my biggest source of inspiration. If you have seen my mural project video, this design is very similar to that and also my first mural project if you guys have seen which is my YouTube channel banner is also a botanical design. So somehow I'm always tempted to paint these. Uh, they bring a lot of joy to me and I find these very therapeutic to paint. And no garden is complete without birds. I had this image of a very colourful rainbow bird in my head and I had to paint it. And also some pretty butterflies. Finally, to complete the painting and to add a bit of shine, I'm adding some specks of gold. I feel it definitely adds texture and shine to the design which I absolutely love.
So initially when I started I wanted to paint on at least 3 denim pieces but I couldn't do that so I'm making a small clutch bag using this old denim shirt to go along with my skirt. So as you can see I'm using only a section of the front of the shirt. This fabric again is very light so I'm backing it with some fusible lining and I hand stitch the corners to make it into a clutch bag. I'm painting a similar sort of a design on the bag as well. Okay, so after three full days of working on this project, let's see how the end result looks. I'm so so happy that with just some paints and definitely hours of effort I could change that boring dress into something unique and fun to wear. I can definitely imagine myself wearing this for lunches with my friends or date lunches with my husband. I would love to know what you all think so let me know in the comments if you have painted on any of your clothes before and what was your experience like. Also, if you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more such videos. Until then, take care and I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. So, I forgot to mention that these paints are washable. We can easily wash these without any problem. Also, I pinged uh, Shabana who has this uh, lovely Instagram page called Behure. She does a lot of hand painting on different type of fabric. So I, I asked her about the post care and she mentioned that I should heat set the uh, garment before washing it. So after this is completely dry, I will iron it without the steam and heat set it. And then after that, I can put it for wash or wear it. So, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.